Good morning, boys and girls. Today, we're going to discuss lesson six of unit one, freedom. The title of our lesson is right to bear arms and it's discussed in amendment two. So we've been talking a lot about amendment one in the previous lesson. So today we're going to discuss amendment two, our essential question, what you should know or be able to answer by the end of this lesson is, should you have the right to carry a weapon? So the right to bear arms basically means being able to carry a weapon. Should you have the right to carry a weapon? That's what we're trying to figure out. That's what we're going to be able to answer by the closing of this um, lesson. So what I want you to do, look at your packets. On your packets, you have a um, website that is www.ducksters.com. And on that um, website, I want you to look at the U.S. government Second Amendment. Now, I'm going to give you a recap of what the Second Amendment is. A re well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms, shall not be infringed. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and read from the website just in case you don't have access um, or technology is giving you a difficult time. On the website, Dexters.com, I'm looking at the U.S. government Second Amendment. It says the Second Amendment was part of the Bill of Rights that was added to the Constitution on December 15, 1791. This amendment protects the rights of citizens to bear arms or own weapons, such as guns. The Second Amendment has become a controversial amendment in recent years. Many people want more laws to prevent people from owning guns. They think this will help prevent shootings and keep criminals and mentally ill people from getting guns. Other people want to keep the, this right and not have it limited. They think that having guns will allow them to protect them, themselves from criminals and the rise of a um, bad government. From the Constitution, it says, here is the text of the Second Amendment from the Constitution. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. That's what I just read to you, that Second Amendment. Why was the Second Amendment so important, it says? You may think at first that the people of revolutionary times added this amendment so they could have guns to go hunting for food. While many people back then did use guns for hunting, this was not why the amendment was added. The Second Amendment was meant to help the people protect themselves from a uh, bad government or overturned government. All right. Just like the revolutionaries who fought against the King of England, they wanted to maintain their right to bear arms in case the new government began to take away their rights. At the time, owning guns by citizens was also important for other reasons, including organizing a local militia. And a militia would be um, like an army, okay? Um, fighting off invasions from foreign powers, self-defense against Indian raids, and to help with law enforcement. What is a well-regulated militia? The militia was a group of local men who could act as a military force in times of emergency. Most all of the men at the time were part of a local militia. The militia could be called upon to help to fight off Indian raids, invasions, or even act as a local police force. A well-regulated militia was one that um, was trained, organized, and disciplined. In other words, not just a bunch of guys with guns. What does bare arms mean? The term bare arms means to carry a weapon. Although there is no description of what kind of arms the writers of the amendment at the, at the time certainly included guns within the definition of arms, okay? Does it protect individuals' rights to just or just militias? Does it protect individuals' rights or just militias? Many people question whether the amendment protects the rights of individuals to have guns or just militias. This is something people still argue about today, literally. In 2008, the Supreme Court ruled that the Second Amendment allowed individuals to own guns. 
Now let's talk about gun laws. Although the Second Amendment does allow for people to own guns, it does not prevent government regulation of firearms. Firearms meaning guns. Gun laws help to keep guns out of the hands of criminals and the mentally ill. They also help to keep track of guns and determine what type of weapons people are allowed to own. There are certainly some weapons like a nuclear bomb that the public should not own. Um, the tough thing is deciding where to draw the line. This is certainly a great debate in American politics. And even now, I know you guys are, when you're watching TV, you may see some political commercials um, or advertisements. And those advertisements, some people are referring to this particular amendment about the right or the right to or not to bear arms, okay? Interesting facts about the Second Amendment. It is sometimes referred to as Amendment 2. There are actually two versions of the Second Amendment. The words are the same, but the punctuation is different. The British attempted to disarm the Patriots prior to the Revo Revolutionary War. They also placed an embargo on firearms to the American colonies. Handguns are banned in some countries, including Great Britain and Japan. Okay, that was a fun fact. Now, if you are able to get on this website, Duxters.com, um, I want you to take the quiz. Also, if you need to listen to this video again, there is a uh, recording at the bottom where you can listen to the recorded reading of this page. Okay, now what we're going to do, the fun part. Today's activity, we're going to use the scamper strategy. And with the scamper strategy, we're going to substitute some things, combine, adapt, I'm sorry, adapt, modify, um, put to other use, eliminate, and rearrange or reverse. All right? So, you should have a form that looks like this. All right? So, freedom scamper. The directions say go to the following website to read about Amendment 2, which is dusters.com slash history. Um, once you have read, I want you to take the quiz, which I've already said that. It says to work in pairs, but if you're in school, face-to-face, -face, we can work in pairs. If you're at home, it's fine, okay? Your concluding activities, once you've gone through that website, is to rewrite Amendment 2 using a different type of weapon that is not harmful. A weapon that is not harmful. I want you to think about that. Think about a weapon, but it won't necessarily um, maybe kill someone or harm them or put them in a the hospital. Necessarily hurt them, but restrain them. Does that make sense? So you cannot use Nerf guns or water guns. All right? The criteria card, um, you're going to write a newspaper article of a pleasant outcome between two groups of people. These people decided to use harmless tools to solve their disagreements. Report the details of who, what, when, where, how, and why. Again, I'm going to read that. You're going to create a um, newspaper article of a pleasant outcome between two groups of people. Okay, so say, for instance, two people got into an altercation, but it ended with smiles on both parties' faces, all right? So it's your choice. Um, that's how we're going to differentiate this. Your choice. Decide to use, um, these people decided to use harmless tools to solve their disagreements, and you're going to report the details of who, what, when, where, how, and why. Amendment 2, the right to bear arms. The Second Amendment gives all citizens the right to own guns. You have probably heard news stories about this recently. There um, has been much discussion about whether to limit the kinds of guns that can be sold. Also, many people want to require a background check for anyone purchasing a gun. Okay? Next, what you're going to do is answer the scamper questions. As you can see, it spells scamper going down. So this strategy, substitute. What if it was the right to own a Nerf gun and instead of guns that hurt or kill? Answer that question. Combine. What do you think, in addition to Nerf guns, people would have the right to water guns? Adapt. 
What would the daily news be if Nerva guns and water guns were used instead of deadly, deadly weapons? Modify. How would the United States change if the weapons were used to have fun instead of to harm? Put to other use. What if all these news weapons, new weapons, I'm sorry, were used to make others happy instead of sad? Eliminate. How might the story change if there were no ammunition for all guns, deadly ones or nerf or water guns? So how would these stories change? Rearrange and reverse. What would the United States look like if everyone, including children, used only nerf or water guns to solve their problems? That's a good one. I like that. So that completes lesson six. Again, you should be able to answer this. Should you have the right to carry a weapon? Okay. Which is the right to bear arms amendment two. I will see you guys again. Um, I'm excited that I'm able to see some of your faces as you're coming into the building. Um, and I will see you guys soon in lesson seven. Have a great day.